Hey, this is Shane Murphy, and you're watching Jake Out Loud. To subscribe, lots of good stuff. Cheers. You worked with Billy Bob Productions here in Montreal. For the people out there, Billy Bob, uh, they do productions, a lot of musical shows here in the city uh, with uh, famous radio announcer, Mr. Mitch Milnick. Yes. You worked like a dog for them when you put that on. Uh, let's go back to, what, the 40th anniversary of The Last Waltz you guys mm -hmm. did. Yes. How many of the work you put into that thing? Well, how many bands did you have come up for The Last Waltz? Well, Mitch, Mitch does, Mitch is like the marathon dude, right. and I'm like the the sprint okay so he'll you know book the bands he's talking to if he has to bring in people from the states or whatever right. he's dealing with all that stuff so that's that's months of emails and calls and oh yeah it's a lot of work yeah guaranteeing the money and, and all that yeah. stuff so but when it comes to the actual execution of the event I'm sort of the you're the guy I'm the producer of the show, and and Mitch is the also one of the producers. But in terms of whatever happens stage side, like yeah. sound checks for bands, technical yeah. requirements, uh, being the go between, the monitor the guy, monitor the guy at the front of house. I'm there for the load in. I'm there for the load out. I'm the Shit. sort of whole. Did you play as well for the fortieth? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's so then I end up being the musical director, yeah. which is the uh, which is which is another yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of hats, like I said, yeah. but I but. You know, I've done it. I've done it. You know, five or six times now, and um, it's fun. And, and the day goes by quick, but it's it's a lot of it's intense. It's yeah, but it's like playing music all the time live. Yeah, it's like you got to do it right now. It's like you can't warm up. And how I feel about it, it's like you just have to execute. Not so, now, right? Fucking now, you go. Yeah. So yeah. there's no time to to to, to dilly dally. So it's it's I've gotten used to it. The last one was uh, lending calling. Oh well, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, So there was the last waltz. There was Mitch's birthday. There was uh, Southern the Rock, Soul. The Southern, Southern Soul, Soul Rock and Roll. Well, you and Mitch came to the radio station for that one, and I remember right. live on the air. We all three of us were talking, and he turned to you and said, "Oh, by the way, yeah, Shane, yeah. you're going to do." And you looked at him. Yeah, yeah. You just added what to my. No, he <laughs> likes. Uh, he likes to. Uh, he likes to give me a hard time. I oh, like, yeah. I like to think it's because you know. So it comes from a place of affection, you know. It's like uh, older, it's a good older guy. brother, you know. Yeah. He's just giving me the giving me the gears, but yeah. he's been great. Uh, you know, he's, yeah, he's a good plays guy. Plays on the station all and the he time. Knows you can handle it. Yeah, and so he's been very kind, and we've yeah. uh, you know grown close over the last few years, yeah. and, and started doing a podcast with him, the Mel Nick and Murphy podcast. He approached mm -hmm. me like a couple of years ago, so we've done like twenty five or twenty six of them. Really, not that many. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, with our buddy Frank. Yeah, Marino. the man. Yeah, I heard. I, I listened to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I love talking to Frank. Sharp, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I talked to him a lot. He's uh, there were a dull moment talking. No, no, you got to gotta pay attention. Oh yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> Would you play with Frank Marino or jam with him if you had the, the opportunity? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the, I mean, yeah. it's like he's influenced so many people, and yes, yeah. and you know, has such. Uh, I mean, first things first. He's a very kind guy. Yeah, you know, I've his uh, rhythm guitar player and violin player. He's played with him off and on. Yeah. Uh, his name's Avi Ludmer, is an extremely talented musician. Played bass with me for a couple of years. Oh, okay. So I it's actually got a chance to yeah. So I got a chance to sit at you know you I, I got to go to go to Frank's house. You know, yeah, you, yeah. You go into Frank's house like and it's Frank and, get, and Max the dog. Right? Yeah. So you yeah. go you know you go down and he's got he's got the board there and he's got yeah. all the SGs and and. Uh, you know, he's just a, a, a very kind, uh, kind person. He's very, very yeah. interesting to talk to. And when you talk to him, it's, it's, you know, he's looking at you. Oh yeah. You know? He's looking yeah, at you yeah, like, yeah. what do you have to say? Yeah. You know, it's, he doesn't have time for, for bullshit or, yeah. you know, really frivolous, you know, conversations. Yeah. You know, I think the way he plays guitar, you know, how intense he is and how, yeah. you know, focused and the energy that comes out, that's, that's mm -hmm. similar. in when you're talking to the person. It's yeah, that, it's that you know you're just having a conversation, but it's very. That's right. You're, you're he's very present and focused on what you're saying. That's right. So you it, you know of course it's intimidating. And, yeah. But all that to say, when I play with him, yeah, sure I'd love to play with him. Yeah. But uh, you know he's he's just since put a DVD out, so he's I know he's going to be twenty. Have you watched any of it? Not yet. No. Oh yet. god! Yeah. Well, you guys. Oh no! Well, we watched. We've watched bits and pieces, pieces, but I haven't. Now I got to get a copy. Yeah, you got to get a copy. I, I'm promising uh, Frank or another Frank over here. It's yeah. uh, watch. It's very good. Mm. It's worth watching. Mm -hmm.